good day friends it is me HL Mod Tech and I'm back once again with the Z1 laser cutter friends today we're gonna cut out a wooden keychain so let's get cracking all right everybody so this is some wood I have reclaimed from pallets if we power on the caliper it is about seven millimeters thick and then I use it to make awesome keychains that I put up on Mount Pisgah where I climb every day all right everybody so i have already made this design i'm gonna open it and i'll show you what it looks like so i am doing the mount pisca keychain and i want the front notice it says it's from reclaimed pallet wood i have got a line around my fancy text i brought this text in from somewhere else so it is an image for this one if we go over to cuts and layers i am doing a fill 3300 60 and then 0.1 for the interval single pass for the cuts i'm going to change this from 700 to 650. i had a little bit of trouble cutting through the last one so i'm going to just do that and i'm doing six passes at 100 power now if you've never seen this trick let me show it to you real quick bring out your piece of text I'm going to type something. How about HL Mod Tech? Then, of course, you can bring your text up. You can make it whatever kind of font you want. Pick something you think is cool. I'm going to squeeze it down. My keychains, I always keep them close to 7 centimeters. I just like that distance. Now, friends, here was the magical part of this trick. If you click on Tools, Offset Shapes, it guesses that you want three millimeters. I am actually going to type 2.5 instead. Bam, it instantly makes that keychain shape for you. How sweet is that? So then, friends, I added the keyhole just like this. Of course, it was a circle. I'm going to make one that is five by five. I'm going to pull that to where I want the keyhole to be. And then I'm going to take the second one. If you hold down shift, these stay circles too, which is pretty nifty. Hit delete on that one I just accidentally made. And let's drag that corner over. And then I just took these two shapes. So I'm doing shift select on these two. And then I'm going to use tools and I'm going to use weld. And those two cut just like that. And bam, I have got a new keychain that I could use. Now I'm going to delete that one because I don't need it. Alright, so now let's get to this cutting part. I'm going to switch to COM4 and I'm going to switch to the correct laser. When it connects, you can see that it just honed. And then I'm going to show you in a setting that I adjusted. This is a much smarter thing than what I've been doing. So under edit and under device settings, I turned on enable laser fire. And then I also did laser on when framing. Let me show you how slick that is. So I'm gonna use move to get it to the piece of wood. Remember if you do shift, it does 10 times as much. So that's smarter for me getting close. Now I'm gonna just nudge it into place. And then for a moment, I'm gonna remove the little cover and now I've got the power set at 1%. And if we hit frame, you can see where it's about to cut. That was really close, but I'm going to do control down. I'm going to frame it one more time. Woohoo! That'd be cutting it real close. I'm going to go back one micro click. So I was doing control arrow. Now I'm going to replace. I'm going to put on my goggles. And friends, let's cut out a wooden keychain.
right, everybody. Moment of truth. Oh my gosh. Buttery smooth Mount Pisgah keychain. That is so sweet. Now check this out. I'm printing on a piece of cardboard and it goes through a little so I am already lined up to put the words on the back. How slick is that? So now I'm going to simply open my back project. So there's my one file. I'm not going to save that one because none of the modifications were real. And then this is going to have Holland, Michigan on the back of it. All right, friends, so with that lined up, I'm going to take off the guide again. Let's hit frame so you can just see. Heck yeah, that lined up absolutely perfect. Come back here and put that on. Grab my goggles. And friends, let's put the words on the back of our keychain. And let's see what we got. Friends, that's my HL My Tech YouTube channel and Holland, Michigan. So whenever you're climbing Mount Pisgah, if you keep your eyes out, you just might find one of these. How fun is that? Alrighty, friends. So there you have it. Super quick, super simple steps for how to use the Z1 with light burn and some wood to make an awesome keychain. Friends, I am absolutely loving the results with the Comgro Z1. Oh my gosh, the assembly was so easy and it is cutting through things just like butter. Now, of course, friends, if you are interested one, there will be a link in the description. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, if you got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.